Um, uh, I don't think so because we have learned our lessons already uh, in um, 2009 or when was the banking crisis fi uh, uh, last time and we have made the system much more resilient but what we have to discuss today is the banking union still. Um, uh, banking union meaning that uh, we would have uh, common um, security system uh, for for uh, the deposits for example so that uh, there would be a guarantee um, that if something happens people do, don't lose their uh, deposits uh, but I think our banking system is quite uh, quite resilient but uh, let's see we're going to discuss this the European, the European, the European, the the last time as well. excuse me is that something we thought the last time as well uh, Yes, but uh, what is different is that we learned our lessons from the last time uh, and I think we are more resilient uh, this time considering, uh, I mean compared to the US for example. Uh, but of course is there something else we could do? Yes, there is. Uh, the banking union and also capital markets union that is also necessary for the European economy uh, to function properly uh, so that uh, you know the companies can invest and, and raise capital. The European Central Bank uh, must prevent a financial crisis and curb inflation at the same time. Does this work? Um. Well, uh, we don't have the banking crisis yet, and, and of course the inflation is a worry for, for all of us. And, and the tools that European Central Bank has, they have already used them, uh, I mean raising interest uh, uh, rates, for example. What the, um, what the states or the member states have the tools in their toolbox is to cut the budget uh, in order to not uh, inflate the inflation even more. But considering that we are in crisis like we are, uh, this is extremely, extremely difficult. So we have to discuss how to do this uh, in, uh, in cooperation really, because raising the interest rates too much might uh, bring uh, uh, problems on the other side. There's, um, there's, you're speaking about the banking union, but there's still the European banking union. There's still banks very, very active in Russia. <coughs> the Raiffeisen Bank International, for example, makes huge profits in Russia. The European Central Bank is pressuring the bank to go out of Russia. Should the European Union sanction this bank? Should there be more pressure on our side of the European Union? 